Hello YouTubers, today I'm testing my do-it-yourself homemade 10x probe with my DSO-138 oscilloscope. Thanks for my fellow YouTubers for providing great examples for building probe. I made this probe to observe 120 volt AC line voltage. Material used can be seen below. I first ran two measurements with the stuck 1x probe from comparison, then switched to the 10x probe. An old cordless drill battery charger provided the test signals. For the first run with the 1x probe, I am measuring the 21 volt AC transformer output. That's the charger board and the transformer. Switching power on. The DMM reads 21.7 volt AC. The scope reads a RMS voltage of about 21 volt AC and the frequency is about 60 Hz. The scope graph is over ranging. Since V peak to peak is 60 volt and the scope has a limit of 50 volt. For the second run with the 1 by probe, I am measuring the charger terminal output. The DMM reads 6.11 volt DC. And the output of the charger is seen as a modified sine wave on the scope. Oops, forgot to set scope to DC couple. Voltage is pulsing from 1.6 to 10.2 volt DC. The scope V average is 6.44 volt DC. And the frequency is about 120 hertz. Now for the 10 by probe. You can see it connected to the DSO 1 to the 8 now. First run is to measure the transformer output. Again, the DMM is about 21.5 volt DC. Sorry, AC. Switch in power on. 21.5. The DSO 1 to D8 says the RMS is 2.0 volt AC and the frequency is about 60 Hz. Fiddle in with the sensitivity switches to see if anything changes. RMS drops a bit to 1.9 volt DC at higher sensitivity setting. Next is to measure the 6 volt DC charger output. Oops, need to change DMM to DC. Now I read 6 volt. DSO one to D8 also needs to change the DC. And now reads a average voltage of 0.66 volt DC and the frequency is about 120 hertz. If 
Final test is to measure line voltage of 120 volt AC using the 10 by probe. The MM reads about 114 volt AC. Scope is set to AC and lowest sensitivities. The RMS voltage reads 10.07 volt AC and the frequency is 60 Hz. As seen, the 10 by probe is not exactly divided by 10, but I can now observe signals up to about 200 volt AC and the DSO 138 using my 10 by probe. Thanks for watching.